I don't even think the people who are supporting Trump even want him in office. I don't even think they know what politics are. Since the news eats the media that Trump has been found guilty on all 24 charges, people have been talking about it. You guys know this is a big word. This is a big news. This is politics. And the fact that this person is running for a president's position is even making it more interesting. There are some people who say they do not even care about whatever charges it is unless it's in jail. Some people made comments like call me when he's in jail because there's a possibility of them delaying other things. There's a possibility of him not going to jail. There are some people actually saying that he's the victim as well, that they are trying to shade him. But guess what? They are making him more popular and people are still going to vote for him. I even saw videos of people saying, guess what? I've been married to a felon for 16 years. What's stopping me from voting from, for one? I will not be able to vote for himself but people will be able to vote for him and he has a higher chance of winning that position i was able to come across some other takes as well this video is going to be part two of what people have been saying since this news hits the media i really really love this people's take and i have put them together for you guys so without wasting much time let's just get right into it i don't even think you guys want trump like those of whoever i don't even think anybody on my page does because we're, we're way forward thinking over here, but I don't even think the people who are supporting Trump even want him in office. I don't even think they know what politics are. I think they just want somebody to punish the rest of us for forcing these people to look back at the lies they've been telling us and truly question the empathy and the humanity that they have in their hearts, or if it's just all lies to get corporations to further destroy and divide us. The if these people wanted, uh, if these people wanted a functioning president, why don't they just choose somebody who is not a convicted felon? Why don't you just choose somebody that you know has a track record of caring for the American people? Why does it have to be this specific individual? It's because he's promising you a future which he punishes your enemies. Do you know how that how closely that aligns with Christian nationalism? It's not that heaven is going to save these people. It's seeing these people's enemies burn in hell for eternity is going to be their depiction of heaven. And that's even more enticing to believing a leader than getting to enjoy an afterlife in, in heaven with golden streets on it. Because there's enough money to, to create a heaven on earth right now. We just have a horrible leadership and with some sick and vile intentions. But I'll say it right here. It's it's privilege to be able to look at Trump or Biden. There's so much privilege in being able to humanize both sides of this conversation instead of realize one person is a fascist dictator waiting to happen, waiting to implement laws of a whole other Third Reich, a Fourth Reich, forgive me, um, and one person is attempting to cover it up as much as possible and still complicit in all the things that are happening, acting like an arm to sedate the young people who are angry at the government that is not serving them and has stolen their future, our future, to line the pockets of billionaires and millionaires who care nothing about the American people. They only care about their own identity in the greater world. Being able to share with their other billionaire friends how many American slaves they own, how many people they're depriving from enjoying time with their families or actually becoming somebody outside of their work because they know the second Americans know what freedom feels like outside of being sedated by entertainment, they're going to tear this whole entire system down, realize it's all a fucking... One thing that I have not seen a lot of people mention when it comes to Donald Trump is how privileged that man was this trial. To not have to spend time behind bars between arraignment and trial is privilege. To not have to spend time behind bars after you have been convicted of 34 felonies is privilege. To have a jury where 9 out of the 12 people that served on that jury were college educated, where the majority of the jury was affluent, where the majority of the jury was competent, because oftentimes prosecutors seek out incompetent juries so that they can get quick convictions. All of that is privilege. To not have to spend time behind bars, to have a jury that is competent, and to have a jury that is full of your peers, affluent people, just by job title. And the biggest privilege of all is him being able to avoid any sort of accountability because the people that are his base, the people that are voting for him in this next election, refuse to hold him accountable in any way, shape, or form because they didn't follow the trial. They don't know what's going on and they don't care what's going on because if you had an education, then 
I don't think you would be able to ignore what Donald Trump has done. Be honest, the fact that our new president or old president might be a felon and he might still be president is crazy. Because now you give everybody hope. Back in the day, they say you get locked up and or you catch a case, your life is over. Well, now you can be president. Be honest, I know there's a lot of think pieces and a lot of people are upset. They're bothered. Oh, my God, how can this happen? Blah, 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 blah. It really don't matter. It really don't matter who's the next person to go up there because you don't vote locally. You don't vote for your mayor. You don't vote for your governor. You don't vote for representatives. So in reality, there's so many more steps that are more important before it actually hits his table or it becomes his issue that we don't even care about. Not only that, me and you, we are regular people. We make regular money. To be honest, to actually make change, you need this. And if the people with this don't want certain things changed, then it really don't matter. But back to being a felon and the president, that that's a dream. Like that, that that's you would have never thought you would have heard something like that in a lifetime. Donald Trump being found guilty of all 34 counts just makes him look like a martyr right now. It makes him look like someone getting punished for speaking truth to power. And all that's gonna do is make him look like more of an underdog in the public eye, and as a result, make him more popular. In case you're not aware, his campaign donation site crashed last night from all the people that donated after hearing the verdict. That is tangible evidence that people are quite literally buying more into him. Now, I can already hear what the people on the left are going to be saying about the people on the right now that this has all happened. Oh, they're dumb, they're stupid, and they're hypocrites because they claim and care about justice and fairness, but look how they rally behind someone that just got found guilty of 34 counts. But what those people are feeling to put into the equation is the fact that a lot of people on the right genuinely believe that the last elections were rigged, so they already don't trust the justice system. Plus, you gotta admit, the timing for this court case for crimes that he allegedly committed years ago is rather suspicious and very convenient for people that don't want Trump in office. If you ask me personally, all I smell is fear. Because the left really believes they can beat Trump and can trust the same American people that elected them four years ago to re-elect them again. And they wouldn't put in all this time and energy and effort into trying to disqualify Trump from playing the game to begin with. Doesn't seem to be working though. Not only can he still run, but the majority of the polls in this country still have him as the favorite to win. You know, with um, 45 getting found, being found guilty on all 34 counts of this, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm very happy that they didn't just go easy on him just because of who he is in this country. But I can't help but think that this is straight karma. And the reason I say this is because y'all's president, those that support him, is responsible for these five men being imprisoned less than one month before I was born. Because I'm saying that because I want y'all to understand this was only 35 years ago. Okay? I want y'all to understand this was only 35 years ago. That man had a hand in all of these men at the time those boys being put in prison anywhere from 5 to 13 years when there was no evidence that linked them to the assault that happened to the young lady back in 89. And then it wasn't until the actual assailant, the person who actually did it, came forward and all of his DNA matched. And the least that man could have done was apologize. But you think he did that? No. But let me tell you their names real quick. Antron McCray, Kevin Richardson, Raymond Santana, Corey Wise, Yusef Salam. This is the lawyer responsible for getting them put away, a prosecutor, whatever the heck her position was back then. Elizabeth Ladrette, Ledre, I don't know. Y'all mess up our names on purpose all the time, so I don't know. But I do know any type of affiliation she had with big names like Amazon and them, they definitely cut ties with her. Because why the heck would you put these boys away just because? Yeah, I can't help. Now, she's definitely getting her just desserts. But I can't help but think that what is going on with Trump right now is karma. That's all it is, because I know he's probably done way worse than just what we know, okay? So, uh, yeah, now, and I need to make another TikTok, because the fact that he is now a convicted felon, but still able to run for president, we need to talk about the type of felons that can still go get a job. Don't you just love when they say the quiet part out loud? The sheriff of my local community in St. Lucie County, Florida, posted on Facebook, President Trump is a victim. I will continue to stand with President Trump and I call on all St. Lucie County residents to stand with him as he continues to fight a rigged system. I'm looking forward to watching his appeal. Sheriff Keith Pearson is the top cop of our county and he is saying with his entire chest, he does not respect the rule of law. So my question is, are you going to come out this strong? Are you going to come out swinging for everybody in our county that you feel has been wrongly convicted? Like, who the hell do you think arrested Trump? The Democrats? Joe Biden? He was indicted by a grand jury and found guilty by 12 jurors that are everyday American citizens. 
funny that when it's wealthy white men, the system is rigged. But when black people make up just 13.6% of the U.S. population and account for 53% of the exonerated people, nobody says a peep. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps and accept personal accountability. Stop playing the victim. And come on, Sheriff Keith Pearson, speaking of a rigged system, you know all about that. Isn't this your name in the FDLE investigation? Doesn't that read on multiple instances from May 15, 2020 through November 3, 2020, Keith Pearson, who is now our sheriff, knowingly conspired, confederated, abetted, and aided Ken Mascara while he was the incumbent St. Lucie County Sheriff in seeking re-election for said office in the 2020 election cycle, to facilitate Kevin Carter's ghost candidacy in the 2020 St. Lucie County Sheriff race to wit, assisting to create Carter's campaign propaganda signs, which he assisted in placing throughout St. Lucie County. Keith Pearson performed said actions in order to assist Ken Mascara in siphoning votes from established Republican candidates. Rich Williams in the 2020 St. Lucie County Sheriff's Race. This is your name in an FDLE investigation. Sounds like somebody was trying to rig an election. And you have the audacity to call the system rigged? And let's be reminded, you were appointed, not elected as sheriff, by this man. Because it was rigged. Why don't you tell the people how your political ally, who happened to also be a felon, donated all that money to DeSantis' campaign as well as your mother on the same exact day. And as the newspaper article says, St. Lucie County Sheriff not transparent about private fundraiser, campaign contributions, and felon ties. Yet, y'all are over there fighting a rigged system. Make it make sense. What do you guys think about what they all shared? I love how somehow they are coming from different angles, but still mentioning so many things that a lot of people have been talking about. Like, you know, someone who has been convicted, still having the opportunity to run for the seat of a president, like it's not making sense. Someone talked about how this is giving hope to others. Like, okay, if, even if you are convicted felon, you can still run for a president position. You can still get a job because before it wasn't like that at all. Like it always like your life ended the moment you're convicted another thing people are talking about is that he's not going to be in jail and that doesn't even make sense they don't want to be part of this conversation the very first teach did it for me and the very first teach is even one of the reasons why i decided to do a part two because trust me i have seen so many i have watched so many takes since this news hits the media because people are talking about it even up until now people are still talking about it but i love the angle that this first teach came from because yes this creator is cooking is making a lot of sense he said trump supporters don't even want trump they just want somebody to punish the enemies that are persecuting them and yeah. this is the truth this is absolutely the truth because the way people are supporting the way people are even making videos saying guess i'm voting for a fellow now and the fact that he has a higher chance of sitting on that seat is even making it more infuriating like okay you are a convicted felon you can't even vote for your own self to be in that position but there are people out there who will vote for you and you have a higher chance of winning it's literally something to be worried about let me hear what you guys think about what they said let me hear your take about what the very first thing said and what other people as well shared it all literally says the truth let's continue this conversation in the comment section and i will catch you guys in the next one